This is the FL Sun S1 Pro. It's been said that this is one of the fastest printers on the market while still retaining quality. And that's exactly what we're going to check out in this video. Can it print fast? And can it print quality? FL Sun says that it can print upside down. You can even lay it on its side and print. And you can shake the table like a madman and still get a good quality print at these high speeds. Delta printers can achieve faster speeds just because of the way they're built. Now, I don't typically do the whole unbox thing. But man, this thing was massive. And I figured, you know what? If I'm going to do an unbox, this better be the video to do it on. So if you're not interested to see what comes in the box and everything, I'll put the timestamp up here on the screen of where you need to fast forward to to get to the action. So besides this huge chunk of styrofoam that it came with that will kill pretty much every sea turtle known to man if we don't dispose of it properly, it came with this toolkit, extra hot end, uh, tube grease, we got flush cutters and the, well, if I could hang on to them, we have screws. I'm sure these are for the glass for the windows and more screws glue stick and yeah the the toolkit is nothing to write home about it's definitely a piece of plastic in a cardboard box and that's it so it's cool they included it but honestly it, unless this is your first 3d printer you have so many of these little toolkits that you really don't want anymore okay now it's time to get to the actual unboxing of the printer now uh i'll, I'll speed this up because i did have some trouble getting this monster out of the box now i recommend you having somebody help you but if you absolutely have to do this on your own it's doable as you can see i did it and we finally got it out it is secured by a couple of brackets right here and you'll need to undo the brackets to get the glass out so i got this thing put up in the room and there's really only two things you need to do you need to attach both the front glasses and the front lcd display and that's it and you're ready to print and then you have to figure out how to load the thing with filament it took me a few minutes but then i got it so let's talk specs this thing honestly the round bed it had me fooled for quite a while i could have swore this thing was smaller than my k1 max but honestly this thing has a 320 by 320 by 430 build volume and that is bigger than the k1 max and the hot end goes up to 350 C. I mean, you can almost print peak on this thing. Yes, I said almost. You cannot print peak on the FL Sun S1 Pro. So if you look at this 100% right here, that is the filament weight sensor. And if you have a full roll like I do right now, it should be at 100%. Now it works based off the spindle right here and the less filament that you have, the more the number goes down. Now it does go down in increments of 25. So it'll go from 100, 75, 50, and then down to 25 and then zero. Now, I don't know why, but I absolutely love the sounds that this machine makes. Now, it's a Delta printer, and it, you see the carbon fiber rods. That's actually what enables this machine to do what it does and be as fast as it is. So I got this thing loaded up with its very first print, a 13-hour. And yes, it's the Creality mascot. I mean, FL Sun, I hope you're not mad at me, but it's, it's what I chose. Hey. So while this is printing, let's talk about the speed because that's its number one selling point. Now it advertises a 1200 MMS max speed and your average printer nowadays is running between 500 and 700 MMS. So it's almost two times as fast as your average printer. Now you have to realize if you're looking at the screen, it's not always doing 1200 MMS. That's its maximum at any given time, but it's still faster than your average production printer, no doubt. And if you look at the quality, the quality is there as well. I think with today's technology, you don't have to sacrifice quality for this type of speed. So why would you choose a Delta over a regular gantry style printer? Well, previously you wouldn't unless you wanted to do prototyping. And now that they have the speed and the quality and all that stuff dialed in, honestly, now it's kind of a no brainer because you get speed, you get quality and you get build size. So those are three major upsides. So what are the downsides? Well, this thing is loud and it's heavy. But in FL Sun's defense, they did come out with kind of like a muffler kit or a silencer that you can buy for 65 bucks. Honestly, they should just include it at this point. But for a printer this size, there's really nothing you can do about the weight. 
but I mean, it's not something you're going to be carrying around. You're going to put it there and leave it, so weight shouldn't even be a factor, really. But I've had this printer going on a few months now, and one thing I really like about it is that it's fully open source. And another thing is it has an active filament dryer that you can control from the LCD panel. You can simply turn it on while you're printing or even if you're not printing. And it also gives you a live humidity readout. Now, as you can see, it has a really beginner-friendly user interface. I mean, this has to be probably one of the easier ones that I've dealt with in a long time as far as the user interface on the touchpad goes. Now in the slicer, if you're familiar with any Orca slicer, Creality, or Bamboo slicer, I mean, you're gonna be able to transfer over to this one just fine, or you can use it in Orca or whatever your slicer of choice may be. Oh, and these lights here, these are not the factory lights. I put light kits on every printer that I own, and this one was no different. It does have barely dim lighting, just like any other 3D printer. For some reason, manufacturers just will not put bright LEDs in 3D printers. I do not understand why that is. But I have no problem upgrading LEDs in 3D printers. As a matter of fact, I sell LED kits for the K1 and K2 series Creality machines. And I might be selling one for this one. Who knows? Oh, and in case you were wondering, you can send filament through the side of this machine. So what are my thoughts on the S1 Pro after having it for several months? Well, I gotta say, it checks several boxes. It has speed, it has quality, it has reliability, it hasn't broken down, and it has build size. Those are four major things that you want in a 3D printer. And also, it's on sale right now. So when I first got this printer, it was around 1500 bucks on the FL Sun website, and right now, it's on sale for $999. Have you seen the S1 Pro? I heard it's on sale for only $999. There may be a few left. They're flying off the shelf at that price. But always shop around, compare prices, and pick out the printer that best fits your needs because only you know that. So until next time, thanks for watching, and as always, stay ready to 3D print.